Okay, lesson four homework from module four. We are going to fill in the chart for question number two. First one's already been done for us, so we're looking at 2B. The information I already have is that the fraction is 3 fourths. I see that my fraction is related to division, and the fraction bar shows division. 3 divided by 4. So I go back and fill in the first column division expression. It tells me that the whole number is between 0 and 1. I know that 0 fourths is 0, and 4 fourths is 1 whole. 3 fourths is between 0 and 1 whole. That's how I see my answer for that whole number column. My division standard algorithm is 3 divided by 4. Goes in 0 times with 3 left over, 3 fourths. Number C. They've given me the information of 7 halves. It's 7 divided by 2. So my division expression is 7 divided by 2. I know that 6 halves is 3 holes, and 8 halves is 4 holes. So my whole number is going to be between 3. It's going to be between the whole number is 3 and the whole number 4. My standard algorithm is 7 divided by 2, which is 3. 3 times 2 is 6, with 1 left over, 3 and a half, which makes sense with my previous column. Finally, letter D for question number 2 is 81 ninetieths. 81 ninetieths would be 81 divided by 90. I know that 0 ninetieths is 0. 90 ninetieths would be 1 whole. 81 ninetieths is between 0 ninetieths and 90 ninetieths. So it's going to be between the two whole numbers of 0 and 1. My standard algorithm is 81 divided by 90, which we know goes in 0 times, with 81 left over. 81 ninetieths. I see a common factor of 9 divided by a magic number 1, 9 over 9. 81 divided by 9 is 9. 90 divided by 9 is 10 for a final answer of 9 tenths. That's question two. Let's also put in question three in this video. 3A and 3B. Jackie cut a two-yard spool into five equal lengths of ribbon. Now, some people don't know what a spool is. Yeah, that's okay. Just think of it as tape. Okay? It's a two-yard piece of ribbon. Okay? So, that's my total amount. I'm cutting it into five equal lengths. So, I have five units. So, it's two is equal to five units. Or two divided by five equals one of those units. 2 divided by 5 is also written as an improper fraction. I'm sorry, as a proper fraction. I don't really have to do a standard algorithm with this because I can see that it's not a mixed number. But 2 divided by 5 is 0, with 2 left over. And this will help me to check my work. 5 times 2 fifths is my check. Put them back in here. 5 times 2 fifths is 2 fifths plus 2 fifths plus 2 fifths plus 2 fifths plus 2 fifths, which equals 10 fifths, which is equal to 2 
poles. Two pole yards of ribbon. So each of those equal lengths of ribbon is going to be two fifths of a yard for each piece of ribbon. B. What is the length of each ribbon in feet? So it's the same question as 3A. I'm going to draw a tape diagram, but I'm not going to use yards. I'm going to use feet. So let me look at my previous tape. The previous tape said two yards. I'm still cutting it the ribbon into five equal lengths, but this time instead of two yards, I need to think one yard is equal to three feet. And you can use that conversion paper or conversion chart if you don't have memorized that a yard is equal to three feet. But if I thought of two yards, I'm going to think of three times two, which is So instead of the hole being two yards like it was in A, I'm going to think of it as six feet. I'm not changing the number of equal length. It's still going to be five units. So in this case, instead of two yards, I'm thinking of it as six is equal to five units. So I'm taking six and dividing by five units to get one unit. One of those units is going to be six divided by five, which is an improper fraction of six fifths. My standard algorithm is six divided by five. One. One times five is five. With one left over, one and one fifth. That is one and one fifth feet. Let's check it now. Fill in my tape diagram to make it make sense. Each piece of ribbon should be one and one fifth. Multiply to check five times one and one fifth. One and one fifth plus 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 one and one fifth is one, two, three, four, five holes. And one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths. Five fifths is equal to one hole. Add that to the five, which gives me back my six feet. Final answer. Running out of room here. This is why we, many of us have to use some loose leaf paper to be more organized. Final answer would be each piece is one and one fifth feet of ribbon. Final answer.